Hello everybody. Today I like to talk about a different subject. I I wanted to um, perform this kind of experiment before. I wanted to show you the results. Um, but uh, when I did that kind of test before, it did blow up my plasma dome. So a, you see the plasma dome on the left hand side. So the experiment I would like to conduct today is investigate the dielectric field and the energy propagation within the um, um, dielectric field within a plasma field. So the plasma dome as you can see here on the left hand side is gonna have um, our gas mixture inside which can be excited by the dielectric field. I will do some analysis about influencing the dielectric field will check if there are magnetic fields which can influence it or not and um, let's see how um, the cold system works I'm gonna use I'm gonna use here my bipolar Tesla coil and gonna have two my two spheres right and left hand side which will be my capacitor so my dielectric field is literally around here and I assume that energy transfer will be from one sphere to the other and in a cross section the dome should have some influence of it so this is a standard Plasma dome, you can buy it for very little money these days. Pay 25 pound for this one, or not forget it for 15 pound even. What's very, very good to experiment uh, it's driven by uh, a flyback transformer, very little volt, very little amps. And but if you use metal and touch it with metal, you can get some nasty shocks, so avoid that. Um, so, to do my first test. My neon bulb, my, my fluorescent bulb, you see it's very very low lit, it's very little energy transmitted from the system. You see it a bit bright here, I see almost nothing and I touch it so that you see that the, it's following a bit um, my bulb. You can do the same here with this one, not only thing I have to take care I got some nasty shocks with this one see here so that's illuminating is quite nicely so they're good they're good because they draw they draw some load some energy from the system they balance my system quite nice that's what I have put them on top of here okay so that's a standard flyback using here in the dome it's a it's not a vacuum, it's a, it's a lower pressure and it's a gas mixture inside and the frequency of the system here is as expected for flybacks about 30k as you can see here measured it quite low here on the side it's about 70 volt here on the bottom so about 200, 300, 400 volt on the top side I will now conduct a couple of experiments as you can see I have connected a little um, Aluminum patch, aluminum patch with with a copper. That means I get a little bit more focus over here. So I'm gonna test now for stray capacitance. I will test for grounding, and I will test for magnetic fields. So the first experiment is with a hand. You know that I can draw literally with my hand as a stray capacitance all the energy out from the system and focusing it here. So the center of the plasma um, dome is literally the exciting field and there is an equal surrounding around it which is representing the dielectric field. That's why it's a kind of equal um, um, distributed around the globe. So if it, if it is, um, disturbs this um, equilibrium if you want we can do that by providing a, a better conducting or a better grounding or 
dielectric field strength by adding an additional field. So that means here my hand is providing quite a lot of, um, let's say, a gate to terminate um, this current, if you want, this dielectric current. So looking at the patch over here now, if I use my fluorescent bulb, I provide also now a, a slightly stronger pass as you can see, so the, the line to the field is much stronger now. Let's see if I don't want to do that with my hand, I'll probably get shocked. So, so that is kind of clear. Now let's see if a magnetic field has any influence. So I'm using here Neopdyne, a very very strong magnet here. If see if that makes any difference. It has almost no impact at all except that it is a piece of metal. But it doesn't influence the field at all as you can see here. Hardly. Doesn't make any difference at all. So if you look at um, plasma fields, channel plasma fields which are which are created by a electric current like the like in, in, in fusion um, technologies, the plasma field is literally contained by a magnetic field inside without touching the wall. Looking at a dielectric field that wouldn't be possible. So with a magnetic field you have no way to influence a dielectric field in a, um, in a plasma. So the ionization here is not polarized. So we will not have any possibility to influence the field. However, we have a possibility to influence the field and that is only with straight capacitance. Straight capacitance in terms of providing a grounding field. So I'm using now using now earth. So I have an earth patch here which is connected on uh, on my IF ground. And if I go over here now you can see I'm very very easily can terminate the whole current over here as I did it before with my hand. Yeah, it's quite easy to see. Right. Now let's move on to add some dielectric um, power through my Tesla coil. Starting now in energized form and adding now additional dielectric current to the system via my bipolar Tesla coil. So you see it's um, fairly equal distributed. Now I'm energized system, you should see that. So it's focusing more and more in the middle, getting more up and you see it's completely changed now. If we add now, see if any influence here or is stronger, however, it has hardly any influence here on the field. Let's try the magnetic field. Same thing, no influence. Now let's try the grounding field. I assume that will have an impact. It does. But not to that extent. As you can see, the energy between the fields is still stronger than the energy which is thrown up here. So that literally is that little blue one which goes up comes from the dome itself by its own power supply while the white streamers which goes from right to left comes from the bipolar Tesla coil. Now I, I will now start doing that without additional power from the dome. Power is now switched off on a dome however the power supply is still connected, so it is not a crowning. However, it's a it's a literally it's a it's a floating crown. 
However, it provides still a link back. So that means that the middle pole here has still um, is creating an imbalance between right and left hand side. So I would assume that there's some kind of energy going into the middle side. Let me energize the um, bipolar Tesla coil. As you can see, I get the energy from the middle and I can do, when I increase that, goes nice in the side. It moves up so it gets hot inside, so they're moving up. Same kind of test. Now in this way, magnetic field. No influence. Consumer. No influence. Now important is here because now nothing is in addition from coming from coil. Stray capacitance via my hand should have an impact. Does not because I have here a stronger flow over there. When, when I disconnect that later on you will see there is a difference. I will not touch it because the power here is quite high. And now again the grounding. Yes, but again only a small streamer is emanating. Now let's try it without power supply. Now everything is disconnected, so it's literally only the dome without any power supply connected. So that means if something's gonna happen here, it has to happen only between these two fields. There's nothing else, there's also no back um, pass to crowning and so on. Let's have a look how that looks like. Beautiful. So it emanates from the side, as you can see, and it moves up. So it hits in the middle, and it moves beautifully up. Now have a look on a. Now it's much more sensitive to influence. Let's try the magnet. Magnet has no influence. Crowding, I assume crowding will have an influence. Let's have a look. Interesting. Crowding has no influence whatsoever. Now, my hand. It makes, I see on the oscilloscope it makes a difference, but not much. So the field between bosoms is so strong so they cannot influence that at all. It becomes also quite warm here, it's quite strong. Now let me move the camera around so that you can see that better. So that's beautiful. So this field is literally not influenceable via magnetic fields, stray capacitance and so on. That's very beautiful. Of course it's heating up inside so it moves up the walls. So that concludes my test and see if we can use other plasma tubes for additional tests. Thank you.